Assalamualaikum. <coughs> this is your computer science teacher, Jasabar Afghan Ansari. Uh, now we continue our task 2 for the day 2. Okay, in the previous video we just studied till this and it, right? And now in today's video we will study about the task 2 and the day 2. Same thing is uh, same thing will be repeated here but the only difference is we will change the day number right like task 2 for the day number 2 if day equals to 2 then our system will check ticket twice if the ticket twice is 1 then it will ask the user enter number of adult and it will be stored in the number of adult variable then it will be multiplied by the 30 30 is the value for the second day right so the cost for the two days is the thirty dollar for one adult so that is why we use here thirty it will be multiplied by the number of adult and it, then it will be stored in the cost value now it will check for the choice two if the ticket choice is two then it will ask the user to enter number of adult just like the day one so it will store the number of adult same process same thing will be repeated here the only difference is that instead of writing the value for the cost one we just need to write the value of cost this is a difference now the validation check will be here because if number of adult greater than one right so it will display an error that only one adult is allowed so kindly enter number of adult right so one adult is there so it will ask here to enter number of adult it will be stored in this variable and it will repeat till how much time until we input number of adult which is one right okay now next is the for ticket number two sorry it was ticket number two i by mistake highlighted one adult we are now studying ticket number two so one child with one adult or two child two children with one adult right so here input the number of children up to two only and it will be stored in the number of child variable now validation check is applied here if number of child greater than two of course more than two are not allowed so it will display an error message and then it will ask the user to input to input enter number of child and how many times will it will ask until we input number of child 1 or 2 so less than 3 is the cut validation now what if the number of adult is 1 then it will multiply the cost with the 30 and it will store in the variable cost adult if number of child equals to 1 then the cost for the child for the day 2 you can see here is 18 dollar so it will be multiplied with the 18 and it will be stored in the cost child variable and then we have to add up cost adult and cost child and store in the variable cost so there are two ifs so we have closed the two ifs right now other condition is number of adult is 1 right the same formula is repeated here and the number of child 2 I repeat this statement because an adult may bring up two children so that is why we used to take this condition number of children two then it will be multiplied with the number of child and is in the cost child and then it will be added so there are two ifs so we have closed the two ifs the last if where does it come from it comes from the choice variable the in a choice ticket we put here here this is the if the third variable if is ticket choice right so we have to close this third if now <coughs> if number of uh, okay now we have completed this task Okay, now task 2, final part of the day 2. This is the final part of the day 2. If ticket twice equals to 3, 
then it will input it will ask the user to input number of senior and it will be stored in the number of senior so what is the cost of the senior for the d2 is 24 dollar okay let me zoom it so you can easily understand it so this is a line that we are studying cost for the two day for the one senior is 24 dollar okay. so it will be multiplied with the number of senior 24 and then it is to end the cost variable now we have to close this ticket with the, this condition with the ended now if ticket is 4 then it will ask again from the user what does what does the ticket 4 say that up to 2 adults or senior and 3 children so validation check is here up to 2 adults so greater than 2 what if we input greater than 2 means 3 or 4 adults or the senior so it will ask us again and then it will store the value in the number of added variable until how many times it will ask until we input 2 or 1 because more than 2 adults or seniors are not allowed so we close this condition with the end if statement here now it will ask the enter it will ask the user to enter number of child then again we apply the validation check because why we are why we are putting validation checks so it is here that data must be validated on entry so whatever we input the data if it requires validation then we have to apply validation check. this is why uh, that is why we are using validation checks so if number of child greater than three because it says that and three children so only three children are allowed what if i input four children five children so entire validation check will be uh, asked otherwise uh, achha, okay now next is that cost is $90 so cost for the family ticket for the day 2 is $90 so after the validation check when we input children 3 then it will take the 90 value by default and it will store in the cost value okay what if the choice is 5 so what is the ticket 5 group of 6 people or more then price person per person is 22.50 so 6 or more so that is why if we say okay, if ticket price is 5 then it will ask the number of people if number of people greater than equal to 6 then what we will do number of people greater than 6 then the price person will become 22.50 so here you can see that number of people greater than equal to 6 then number of group of people multiply by 22.50 multiply by number of group of people and then it will store in the cost variable so there, these, there are two ifs so we have closed two ifs and the last if is about the ticket ok this is for the ticket one uh, sorry ticket choice 5 so there are two ifs here and what about the third if it is for the day 2 right so day 2 we have to close it day 2 let me show you if d equals to 2 here you can see that if d equals to 2 so this if must be closed here here so day 2 if is closed here now for the extra attraction task 2 is still there because we have to calculate for the extra attraction it says it here that input the tickets and extra attraction required then calculate total cost of the booking and allocate a unique booking number so this is the extra attraction right now we input uh, we ask the user to input the number of person want to feed the line so it will store, store the value in feed line then feed line the means number of people will be multiplied by 2.5 which is the cost of uh, feeding a line for one person 2.50 so it will be multiplied and stored in the line cost then it will ask to feed a penguin so feed penguin multiply by 2 so the 2 is here per person then we uh, store in the uh, penguin cost variable so I, I again forgot to write 
the arrow sign over here instead of equal to there would be an arrow sign so you may change it I will change in my document as well after the video so extra cost will be added by the line cost plus penguin cost and uh, total cost will be calculated using this extra cost plus the current cost right so here we can calculate a total cost but what if day equals to 2 then it will also ask to enter the people for the barbecue two day ticket only so barbecue cost is five dollar per person here you can see so it will be calculated here so we have calculated we have input the barbecue it will be multiplied with the dollars five and then it will be added in the barbecue cost so now we have to calculate the extra cost so in the extra cost for the day two we have to add lion penguin and barbecue cost and is in the extra cost and then we have to add up cost current cost plus extra cost and store in the total cost right? so this if has been closed by the end now because of the screen is messy so i shared the message at press enter key to continue then it will clear the screen because the screen gets messy now after the, that display the booking details as said in the task 2 that we have to display the booking detail including total cost and booking number so now we are about to display the booking detail which is booking number date day adults number of senior child group of people ticket line penguin barbecue and the total cost so here uh, our task 2 has been completed right so i will start task 3 in the next video I hope you have understood but if it's still there is any confusion you can ask me on my Facebook or WhatsApp. Thank you so much. Allah.